Here she comes. Satari is here! Let's quietly follow her. Once she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. As for how we'll sway her to our side, I'll leave that to you. I trust you'll know what to say. Uh, Paimon's starting to feel kinda nervous. Okay, let's go. Looks like they've already started talking. Let's find a hiding spot and get started. That's right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh, are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. Uh, okay then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. <laughs> Strange. Your cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? Ah, oh, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. Ahem. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the Divine Voice of Wisdom. Hmm... I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. A mess? Well... Um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really just want to get it over with. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... The gods are asking. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone... home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? What an inconsiderate and naive question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all. The Scarlet King. The S Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the Academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? What insolence! I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Uh, wait! Oh, she just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset, too. Well done. Sitaria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her? That must have shaken her to the core. Aww, Nahida. 
It seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haribata theories. In any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. He's out of games now. Right on cue. Let's get ready to possess him right away. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Gardening? But don't you hate everything to do with plants? I still remember getting mad at you for secretly throwing away the bonsai that I gave you as a present. Um, well, uh, you see, a friend told me that the secret to self-improvement is to work on things you're not so good at. <sighs> Fair enough. I didn't think that was something you would consider. Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Oh, that's good to hear. I have been thinking a lot about him. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Please pass on that recently, faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper, and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh? So, who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia, or the Scarlet King? Uh... I... <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert. Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. Akeem? You don't mean... you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King? What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? C can't pick a side? Me? Whoa! I had no idea you'd be so good at this! You really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. But once everything is over, I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain everything. Anyway, let's keep going. So, Shishan, have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus Festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Shishan, uh, uh, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects? Please, please stop! 
Even now, Satari is still trying to run from her problems. She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the guards! What should we do? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. Heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Y you know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the Academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child of the Scarlet King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Sitaria, why haven't you gone home? Seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans, and from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no matter how much I may try to ignore or get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? <sighs> How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Please tell me, what can I do for you? How much do you know about the Sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest Scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus Festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city, and even the sages are still quite wary of him. To fight against the Academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Um, let me see... Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. 
It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. All right, I trust you. So, uh, if I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Just as Nahida predicted, we've managed to bring Sataria to our side! The Traveler's execution was ingenious. He's the one who deserves all the praise. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Pray? But if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of Wisdom and Guardian of the Scholars? Mm -mm. No, no. The truth is the true Guardian of Scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. Catherine, right? That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Shh! We're on a secret mission tonight, so we need to protect Catherine's identity. Yep, Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. If something were to happen, my existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep! Exactly! Just what Paimon was thinking! Hmm... Anyway, enough about that! Let's just make sure to be on our guard! Off? What do you feel is off? It's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? No, I think he's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city, though. Huh. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace! I also can't quite figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we planned. Well, regardless, as long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. There really aren't many people out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the Academia, and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. The triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the Doctor. <laughs> if you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. <sighs> the people of Samir City! What have you done to them? 
I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see, all these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. <laughs> My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. Oh no! What should we do? These are all just regular people! Leave now. You need to get out of here. But that guy's a Fatui Harbinger! We can't just leave you here! Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru! You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be... the God of Wisdom. your breath first. Uh, is Nahida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. Paimon wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here, let alone such a high-ranking one. That guy was number two. So scary. Mm, he called himself the Doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the Academia came back recently. And that even the Sages are wary of him. Yep, sounds like she must have been talking about the Doctor. Yeah, now that the Doctor's in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the Academia. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? Yeah, things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Uh, you mean... Oh, right! Wasn't he invited by the Sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidya Forest? That has to be the same project. Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville. Hold it right there. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. Are you mercenaries from the Core of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Core of Thirty? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. The outcast? An outcast from the academia? But why wouldn't the doctor just send the Fatui after us? <sighs> Still wasting time on idle chit-chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! With the wind! Yeah! 
our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Uh, going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. Traveler and Paimon, what are you two doing back here? Kale, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I... To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elazar has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. Oh, Master Tainari? You just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Huh? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a heart. No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I'd guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Immortal Darshan of the Academia. And part of the eye is something like the Amorda's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research of Party's the eye. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party's the eye. Uh, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. You're okay. We were so worried about you. Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment. Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. 
Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Ugh, it feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party Stii? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Traveler? It is you! Ah! The voice! It's Hapasia! Ah, what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right, we're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Hapasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pari Porna life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. <sighs> you did it? Congratulations! <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last! When my consciousness made contact with the gods... Ah, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was! That sounds incredible! Oh, all right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the Divine. You... you can do that? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, 
I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit Borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Ready? It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. The first to betray me was a god, my creator, my mother. Valuing strength above all, she saw no worth in me and I was discarded. The second was a human, my family, my friend. Consumed by fear, he saw me as an abomination. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Humans, they can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, great and merciful God, please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri in a life, but rather... Ah! You, why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Apeja? That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait. Have I... already lost my mind? Wait, something isn't right. 